Okay, in this video we're just going to be having a look at the Power Junkie V2 working with the Panasonic GH5. And this is just a video request that I've had. So I've done a video on the Power Junkie V2. I'll link up to that in the corner if you haven't seen it. Um, but essentially it's something that I use with my Panasonic GH6. I use it with the GH5 as well, but in the video I'd showed it with that. So. In this video, I'm just going to kind of show it working with that. So we've got a Sony MPF battery. Um, this takes various different sizes of those type of batteries. As long as it's the um, this connection, you're sort of okay. It take, takes the bigger kind of brick type batteries as well. So if I plug that in, you can see I've got uh, about half a battery there. Um, with the connection, uh, so the GH6... Uh, supports USB PD power so with the GH6 you've got two options you can go in using PD power through USB-C or you can go in through the 12 volt, volt port on the um, uh, on the jack connector and um, the GH5 unfortunately doesn't support uh, PD charging so the only option you have on the power junkie is you're going to have to go in on the jack port um, the so the way I do that I've I use the uh, Condor Blue, it's the DCC-17 um, dummy battery um, and it's also the uh, DCC-12 so that basically works with the Panasonic GH6 and the GH5 so um, it, it's quite nice actually because you can swap it across the two cameras so if you've got both of them you'll be able to use the same dummy battery across them and then I'm using the 2.1mm jack connector on here as well and I've got the uh, cable with the brake in the middle. Um, it doesn't matter so much for the GH5, but for the GH6 it's quite important because the, um, the the battery door works a bit differently. So you can kind of see it on here if we open this out. We can put the dummy battery in and then with the GH5 we've actually got this little brake here so I can run that through and then I can put the battery door closed again and it just runs out of that little little rubber socket area. You can kind of see it sticking out there. Uh, whereas the GH6 is a different design with a kind of circle. So this break in the cable is more important. But with the GH5, you could do it with a um, an all-in-one cable that doesn't need the break. Uh, the main reason I like to use these cables, uh, the Condor Blue, uh, they have a built into the battery they've got a regulator that kind of stops the um, dummy battery from putting too much power into the camera so for me that's important I like to you know it, I like to kind of minimize any risk where I can with um, external power so for me these are these are a good choice it's not to say there aren't other batteries out there that, that do that it's just you know for me they're the ones I use and I you know they, they've been fine so far so they're, um, yeah they seem like good a good option i'll leave a link in the description to to all these bits you know so you can kind of check them out but um yeah like i say there are other ones are available i just can't kind of vouch for things i haven't used but yeah so we've got the um the 12 volt port obviously goes into the 12 volt socket um you actually can't put it into oh no sorry you can um you can put it into the 8 volt but it, it won't work so if you put it into the put it into the 12 I can see the other way around actually it, it won't fit well because it's too small so um, yeah you can you can plug that into there and then obviously on the camera we just switch it on as if we're going to go into power it okay that's not worked just a second I don't think that battery's actually got enough power in it let me just quickly grab another another MPF battery I've actually just used these recently and they've not been recharged so I'm hoping one of them's got enough power to switch it on. Okay, I should have switched that off from the camera before I plugged that in. But... And then you can see here we've got the uh, cam cameras working. If we switch into the switch into the menu, we'll just come up to the record quality you can kind of see with you know we've got everything there we're not missing any modes or anything it's all kind of uh, it's all there and working and um, yeah you've got uh, 
you know, providing you've got a, a decent decent set of MPF batteries with plenty of life in them. Like I say, you can use the bigger ones. It's all about how you, um, you know, what you want to work with and and what sort of um, what sort of works for you. You can use. Um, I'll just grab. Um, I don't know if I've got the right type of thread mounts in there. Just as a basic example, the uh, base on this, it's got a mount on the bottom. So if you wanted, I mean, obviously you can do it in much nicer ways than this, but if I just switch this off, as a very basic example, um, oh, it would help if I had a cage on there, which I don't. Um, Probably actually uh, just okay. Yeah, you could do something like that. It's a bit of, <laughs> a bit of a mess, but you could do a connector. You know, this is really the wrong piece to be using, but. You could connect the um, connect the hot shoe in with that. If I put it on the right way around, put that into there. Is it gonna work? No. not a good example. Let's try it with this. We could put uh, just as a not a great example but you know just you, you can just mount it to the top of the camera. You want to find obviously the right pieces but you know you can plug it in, plug it into there, get yourself a decent hot shoe mount with a, um, a connection at the bottom. Um, I do have one that goes with this. I think it must be in my camera bag at the moment and uh, yeah you'll just be able to you know run power out from this like i say if you've got a camera cage you can connect it almost to any side of the cage or any way you want really but because i haven't got a cage on my gh5 at the moment um you'd need to run it off from the hot shoe it's not overly heavy i mean if you're using really big batteries with it it might not be ideal for the hot shoe because you don't want to damage it but um you know just like that that's okay as an additional sort of power power pack really it's not that heavy um, so yeah, that that really is the the sort of overview of it. You know, you can do 12 volt power out. Like I say, I'll I'll leave a link to this. Um, you've got a selection of batteries you can use with it. And and again, you know, Blindspot aren't the only people that make these MPF plates. Um, that there are a few others that do it. Um, Small Rig definitely do. Uh, there's a couple others out there that um, make these MPF style plates. I I can't remember off the top of my head the um, the other brands that do them, but. Um, yeah, like I say, you know, as long as you've got the right cables, the right right batteries and plate, then, you know, you, you're free to use that kind of external power and it will work on the GH5. There's no kind of issues there. If this content was helpful, please give the video a like. If you want to see more Lumix content, check out the playlist on this channel and please subscribe.